Good evening. It's a great, it's a great pleasure to. Uh, it's a great pleasure to welcome Javier de Gaita to the AA. He has been here quite recently for uh, some of the uh, open juries and uh, has seen some of the, the work of the school not so long ago. Now it's our pleasure to uh, get a chance to see some of uh, his work. Um, I think it's uh, undoubtedly the case that, that Javier is, is one of the most uh, interesting uh, younger uh, architects practicing in uh, Europe today with uh, a variety of uh, projects ranging from the small scale to the very, very large scale. I think he's also um, uh, one of the few people who left the uh, office of OMA and really took the work somewhere, somewhere else, uh, somewhere in many ways different than, uh, than what is happening at, uh, at OMA and really made it their own, which has been uh, something uh, incredible to, to see. His uh, work has often um, had an incredible kind of lightness of, uh, of touch and uh, a deep understanding of materials and, uh, and their effects. Uh, Javier worked uh, at OMA for almost uh, maybe 10, 10 years or eight, nine years or something. And uh, probably since uh, 19, the early 1990s, uh, he has had uh, his own uh, practice with offices in both Brussels and Ghent. In addition, he's been involved in uh, teaching sporadically, though his main focus has been on the practice. Um, the, the, the practice has been the recipient of many um, awards, and in fact, uh, his work has recently been nominated uh, and selected, is in the shortlist for the Miss van der Rohe uh, prize and his book After Sprawl Research, which he's done on the contemporary city, which was published by the NAI, uh, was published in 2002. Uh, please welcome Javier de Valter. Uh, good night. Um, the lecture of tonight will um, have two parts. Uh, one part is, uh, I'm looking for the um, one part is uh, focusing on the uh, uh, after sprawl uh, thing that was uh, um, being talked about, and uh, uh, the other part uh, will show the last, uh, the second half uh, will show a few uh, projects that have no uh, direct uh, link with that. In fact, uh, um, uh, for a long time, and uh, we found out uh, after we did uh, the study on after sprawl we found out that our early uh, works, architectural works, uh, already had uh, a lot uh, to do with that. Um, basically, uh, uh, the problem uh, might be uh, defined by um, uh, uh, the, the region uh, that we work in. Uh, is uh, one of the many European regions uh, where uh, uh, there is uh, the city, uh, in uh, classic uh, terms, is not anymore uh, the main uh, uh, issue. Uh, in fact, um, uh, what, on, what you see on this image is, um, uh, let's say, half of Belgium uh, with uh, uh, down under. Uh, maybe it might be uh, good if you have an indication uh, stick uh, to... Uh, um, what you see here is um, uh, what happens in the uh, uh, region of uh, Brussels, Antwerp and Ghent. So the, the blue uh, thing on the left is Ghent, down under is Brussels and uh, up is Antwerp. In fact, the whole area that uh, is in between uh, uh, was our main um, uh, domain uh, for study. And what one can see is that uh, uh, cities uh, within this area are uh, completely uh, uh, diverging. Um, and there's no uh, clear, uh, uh, thank you, there's no clear uh, separation between uh, the city and the countryside. In fact, it is uh, one of the uh, areas where there is no more uh, countryside. Uh, you can see that uh, um, there is a ribbon uh, construction uh, along the roads uh, that developed uh, through uh, centuries, in fact, but uh, that uh, took a dramatic uh, uh, evolution uh, in the last uh, 30 years. 
uh, ribbon development and allotment uh, development, uh, which makes that uh, this is uh, uh, in Europe uh, one of the most uh, dense uh, areas, uh, completely comparable to, for instance, uh, Holland. Uh, while uh, there is uh, no notion uh, of a, a city in uh, classic uh, terms anymore. So when we go a little more in detail, uh, you see that these uh, blue uh, things uh, spread uh, all over and they do uh, not uh, leave uh, any kind of uh, big size uh, open uh, landscape anymore. In fact, what happens is that uh, the old agricultural uh, structure uh, is being eaten uh, quite fast. Um, without uh, any uh, planning, uh, is being eaten parcel by parcel uh, by uh, new allotments and uh, all the streets are uh, being taken uh, by this uh, ribbon uh, development. So th this is uh, uh, the main uh, object of our uh, study after Sprawl. We compared it uh, to a number of European uh, regions. Uh, but I want to start uh, with a few projects uh, that uh, basically, uh, architectural projects that basically uh, deal uh, with uh, the same uh, issues. Uh, that is uh, how to, um, if in, uh, let's say, if we accept uh, this kind of uh, development uh, being, being a kind of a natural thing, uh, Belgium, for instance, never had uh, any uh, urban planning. If we accept this, uh, how uh, should we uh, relate uh, to this uh, new, uh, kind of uh, landscape and how is uh, uh, architecture or how is uh, some form of city uh, possible in here. So here you see uh, uh, one edge uh, uh, of uh, the city of Brussels uh, uh, where you see uh, where the important thing is that uh, the city in fact uh, does not stop and uh, uh, you see a number of uh, green spaces that are more or less uh, yellow here uh, that uh, invade the city, that uh, are, uh, when they are in the city, uh, structuring uh, elements for the city. But uh, once uh, you get out of the city, they are uh, uh, remnants uh, uh, of the open space uh, before. So this is uh, the first thing I want to show is a, a house that we did uh, uh, something like 10 years ago in one of these uh, most banal uh, allotments. And um, uh, in um, opposition to uh, what happens uh, in general in these allotments, um, uh, uh, people are used uh, to make a kind of uh, a neo uh, neo rural uh, agricultural uh, style uh, of houses, farm like uh, houses that refer uh, to a landscape that in fact uh, does not uh, exist anymore. And what we did here uh, uh, is uh, simply take into account this uh, kind of um, uh, a fragmented uh, landscape, uh, which is uh, uh, composed of uh, a patchwork of uh, different things. Uh, some, uh, well, I'll, I'll do it immediately, uh, uh, very uh, concrete. concrete. Um, this, uh, uh, show, this drawing uh, shows uh, the, the parcel itself, and the parcel is on a, a corner of a new allotment. Uh, so uh, down under and on this side is the uh, new allotment with all the same uh, style of houses. And around it is, uh, at the left, uh, is uh, today uh, sitting uh, a 60s uh, allotment that was completely uh, grown over by a domesticated uh, nature. On uh, this side uh, is a, a, a meadow, uh, just a normal open uh, meadow uh, with an open, uh, open view. And on uh, this corner is a, a park-like uh, area that uh, belongs to um, a former cloister, which has, uh, of course, a totally uh, different uh, kind of uh, nature again. Uh, so what we did is uh, uh, let these uh, four uh, different uh, uh, fragments uh, intrude uh, the parcel and uh, this uh, draws uh, uh, four uh, gardens um, and these four gardens they intrude uh, into a volume, uh, a building volume uh, that was not uh, really invented but that was uh, more or less uh, given uh, by the uh, urban rules uh, that are uh, uh, as it might be uh, here in, in England, um, um, very uh, elementary, uh, saying that uh, there has to be a sloped roof and that the building has to be uh, more or less in the middle. So that's also that's a, a thing, a kind of uh, envelope that we simply uh, accepted. 
But uh, these uh, uh, four uh, garden uh, elements, they uh, uh, make incisions uh, in this uh, volume, and they do that in uh, quite different ways. Uh, some do it on uh, ground floor, others uh, do it on uh, first uh, and second uh, level. And there is, for instance, this uh, garden that takes over uh, the level, existing level of the meadow that is behind, and that makes a, a kind of uh, a level difference uh, within the site, and uh, this level difference uh, uh, goes inside uh, the house. So this first garden is enclosed uh, towards uh, the uh, neighborhood, but uh, opens up uh, the building volume, uh, becomes a, a kind of terrace here. This lower garden uh, uh, makes a kind of distinction between a living room, uh, um, a glass house, and a, a dining room. This one, uh, uh, which is a mineral one, uh, makes an incision on the ground plan and uh, uh, makes a kind of uh, entrance and carport uh, to the house. And then there is a, a, a fourth one, uh, which is uh, uh, on the first floor, which uh, is basically uh, uh, the north-east uh, uh, corner of the house, and uh, which is uh, uh, composed of an atelier and um, uh, a patio uh, that is uh, directed uh, towards uh, this park. So this, uh, uh, this volume was almost not uh, designed, and uh, what is uh, uh, thought of is the uh, incisions uh, that are made uh, uh, in it. Um, a section uh, that shows this uh, kind of uh, where uh, three or four of the uh, gardens uh, come together, this uh, lower level, uh, the terrace that is sitting uh, behind here, and uh, we cut uh, through uh, the patio with an atelier that is on this uh, first and second level. Uh, a bad image of the, uh, the carport toward, towards the uh, uh, existing uh, allotment. Uh, a picture of uh, the uh, uh, terrace uh, that can be uh, completely enclosed uh, or uh, uh, which has a screen uh, against uh, the sun uh, that uh, opens up. Uh, the same terrace uh, at night, uh, and another section uh, over the uh, over this uh, entrance area. Um, one moment, it's coming. Where uh, the four um, the four incisions uh, can be seen uh, at the same time. So uh, here you see this uh, lower level with a kind of glass house with. Um, uh, sliding uh, panels that uh, can be then that can uh, uh, close completely uh, this corner. Uh, the terrace uh, up here, the patio on the first level with the atelier uh, behind, and uh, this is not very well visible, but this is uh, uh, the entrance door uh, which gives uh, directly into this uh, carport area. So in fact, uh, uh, this is a kind of uh, a first uh, trial of, uh, uh, with uh, architectural means uh, to uh, deal uh, with this uh, new landscape. And this, uh, this new landscape uh, profoundly uh, influences the, 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 the space of the house. Um, another house uh, that we did about at the same time uh, has uh, other uh, issues uh, to deal with. Uh, here, again, uh, we're in an allotment, and uh, the, the basic uh, qualities of it are that it is uh, a forest uh, with uh, houses uh, that are uh, carved out of it, uh, a forest that was uh, artificially uh, planted on a kind of land dune uh, area. And uh, the basic thing about the allotment is that this, it is in a wealthy uh, uh, neighborhood uh, where, in general, uh, people uh, uh, want to expose as much as uh, possible uh, of their wealth. Uh, so they, in general, they, uh, uh, the, the houses are in, uh, often in a monumental way uh, uh, shown uh, uh, on the street. In this case, uh, the client uh, uh, wanted uh, something different. Uh, in fact, uh, they, they wanted a, a very um, uh, intimate uh, thing that uh, would be hardly, uh, rather hardly visible from the street. And uh, one uh, element, existing element uh, uh, on the side uh, is a land dune uh, that you see here with the street uh, here and the parcel uh, uh, here. Uh, that uh, has a height of uh, about uh, two and a half meters. And um, so uh, uh, from the very beginning, uh, it was uh, decided that uh, this would be 
this land dune uh, would be uh, uh, kept and uh, it would uh, become uh, the main uh, thing, the main uh, issue of the house. It, uh, it basically uh, uh, serves as a kind of uh, uh, hiding uh, uh, screen and uh, at the same time as a kind of a step stone uh, towards uh, a very simple uh, volume, square volume uh, of uh, one level uh, that, uh, that, is, uh, that sits in it. Um, so uh, there is an uh, access road uh, uh, from the street that uh, climbs up uh, the uh, hill and that arrives on the roof uh, here. Uh, and this roof uh, has two uh, smaller elements, one uh, glass kind of uh, garage and one uh, triangular uh, uh, element that is uh, a main uh, entrance to the house. And so for the rest, uh, what you see is uh, three patios uh, that um, go down uh, into the house. And this is uh, basically what you get uh, from the street uh, with the two volumes uh, um, from uh, the uh, garage uh, for two cars. There is a kind of technical uh, stair uh, going downwards uh, and an elevator uh, to the uh, kitchen. And uh, this element is a kind of uh, uh, roof uh, for the main entrance uh, with uh, um, a, uh, a slope. Uh, half outside with the entrance door on a half height. Then you get in and then uh, the next uh, slope is uh, inside. This is uh, the view from the garden, uh, let's say a uh, kind of a normal uh, house, uh, but that is, uh, as you could see, uh, hardly uh, or in a strange way uh, uh, visible uh, from the street. This is the plan uh, with the land dune uh, uh, on this side and with a kind of a layering of uh, different uh, uh, screens that uh, define uh, the whole plan. Uh, these uh, screens or these, uh, these layers are uh, also the structure of the house. They are uh, a very uh, much uh, hybrid uh, structure. Uh, so this is a concrete wall that uh, retains the dune. Uh, this is a kind of separation between an apartment for the children, uh, giving on two uh, patios that separates it from uh, the main house. So this, this uh, wall is made out of uh, uh, cupboards with uh, big uh, windows in it and with uh, a structure inside the cupboard. Then the next uh, one is uh, three uh, boxes in concrete that uh, contain the bathrooms and uh, uh, storage rooms and so on. And they again, uh, they uh, support the roof. Then here is the uh, main patio uh, with uh, this as a hole in the roof and with uh, this as the uh, walls, glass walls, uh, between inside and outside. And then there is uh, one, two, three uh, pieces of uh, freestanding uh, furniture. Uh, this is the uh, fireplace, for instance, that uh, again uh, form a kind of structure. And then the last one is a uh, more uh, uh, monumental kind of uh, uh, steel, um, uh, steel uh, colonnade uh, in front of a glass wall uh, towards the garden. So the whole house uh, opens up towards the garden. This is completely open and this one is completely uh, closed and uh, slowly it uh, opens onto the garden. And then there is these three uh, uh, patios. A uh, few sections that uh, show the entrance uh, uh, situation. Uh, this one is going over the outside ramp and uh, you see the inside ramp behind, so that makes it uh, uh, coming in uh, from above uh, means in, in this house from, uh, that, uh, that is uh, 22 by 23 meters, uh, one arrives in the middle of the uh, house. This is a view from inside. Uh, when uh, one comes down from the uh, ramp and uh, looks uh, onto the garden with the fireplace here, a uh, fireplace that can be used from uh, both inside and outside, and that has, uh, uh, again, sliding windows that can be completely removed uh, so that in a uh, summer situation this uh, uh, fireplace becomes, uh, or this whole uh, space becomes a kind of uh, uh, complex uh, thing between uh, inside and outside. And so, for instance, uh, uh, this is uh, completely outside, this is covered, and this is, in fact, uh, inside space, but they uh, uh, gradually uh, 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 are uh, co connected in between. View from the roof. So this is uh, two early uh, things that we did uh, where we were in fact or where all the uh, inspiration uh, mainly uh, comes from 
uh, given uh, of the, let's say, the, the rather uh, harsh uh, reality of this uh, uh, Flemish uh, landscape. Uh, as I said, the, the, there is uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, characteristics uh, might be uh, specific of this situation, uh, but uh, we thought it was uh, important to compare it to other uh, European uh, regions uh, to try to find out, uh, uh, to try to find more uh, uh, about this. Because in fact, uh, uh, since uh, more, maybe more than uh, 20 years in academic um, uh, uh, circles, uh, sprawl is being uh, discussed, and uh, uh, but mainly as a kind of uh, thing that is uh, about uh, chaos and um, uh, that uh, that uh, uh, is so-called uh, unstructured. And um, uh, in fact, uh, uh, we we felt uh, we always felt quite uneasy with that. Uh, there might be. Uh, in, uh, in some regions or uh, in uh, American uh, regions there might be a kind of uh, 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 clue uh, to it, but uh, we always felt that uh, in uh, European situations uh, it is uh, more a matter of uh, building up uh, uh, complexity and uh, uh, hierarchy uh, so some form of order uh, uh, that was, uh, uh, in, in the case of Flanders, uh, that uh, started up uh, even in the uh, Middle Ages. So we, we always, uh, we, we, we try to uh, find more uh, about it, we try to uh, uh, recognize the uh, forces that uh, structure it. Uh, of course, the, these are uh, very uh, complex, uh, they have a lot to do with history, but also with uh, uh, local uh, politics. And uh, so it is a matter that uh, keeps us uh, busy. This is just an image to uh, show that uh, the uh, Flemish or Belgian uh, landscape uh, never uh, had uh, any planning at all. Um, there were uh, some uh, important political uh, decisions being taken in time which make uh, that uh, the, the, the area developed uh, as it uh, looks uh, today. Uh, for instance, uh, in the uh, early 20th century, there was a very uh, clear uh, decision uh, with going with political decision, going with uh, the uh, industrialization. Uh, Catholic uh, power uh, did not want uh, the uh, uh, laborers uh, to concentrate uh, in cities. Uh, that was uh, this one uh, very uh, clear uh, thing that can be. Uh, read about and recognized, uh, and so uh, in fact uh, the, the uh, policy um, uh, enhanced uh, uh, the choice uh, for uh, uh, laborers to uh, stay in the villages uh, uh, where they were and uh, not to uh, concentrate in the cities, uh, simply uh, uh, not to, uh, um, to uh, make uh, uh, leftish uh, uh, powers uh, uh, grow in the cities. Um, but uh, to uh, better uh, explain uh, what uh, this, uh, uh, this study is about, I uh, would like to show first uh, another uh, uh, project that we did uh, that has to do with uh, accepting uh, a lot of the uh, uh, reality and uh, uh, adding um, new elements to it uh, and uh, by, this, by doing uh, so, uh, in fact, uh, changing it completely. In fact, the, the area uh, that this uh, project is about is uh, uh, the opposite of uh, what was uh, shown before. It, was, it is the, the area in Brussels that uh, has maybe, um, uh, th that has a, a, a big density, first of all, but which uh, uh, takes uh, every day uh, hundred thousands of um, uh, workers uh, that uh, live outside the city and uh, that uh, come here, that get here, uh, that come out of the station uh, that has an underground uh, link. Uh, 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 so in fact it is, it is uh, somehow about uh, the same thing. What you see here, it, in fact the project is, uh, was a competition that we did and uh, the uh, question was uh, to um, refurbish uh, an area uh, in the center, uh, so the uh, central marketplace of Brussels is here. Uh, you see here a uh, different uh, urban structure, more orthogonal uh, structure that is starting, that has always been uh, the, the location for uh, power uh, in the city. 
And so this uh, area is uh, uh, on, uh, on the edge uh, between the two. And uh, it has been uh, profoundly changed uh, during time uh, because of all kinds of uh, things, uh, uh, and being the most uh, important being uh, this uh, north-south underground uh, tunnel uh, for um, trains uh, that was made in the first uh, half of uh, the 20th century. So uh, uh, lots of transformations, and uh, um, this is the area seen from uh, the town hall, and uh, the uh, government today uh, uh, more or less decided that all these changes uh, have come to an end, and that now it would be a matter of uh, 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 reorganizing and uh, furnishing uh, the uh, outside uh, public space. Um, a few pictures. Uh, this is uh, uh, what has been built uh, since the 50s uh, on top of this uh, uh, underground um, uh, railway link. And uh, this is uh, the other half uh, which was uh, 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 built in the early 90s, uh, mainly uh, hotels uh, in front of uh, the old city but in a total different scale. Um, while uh, this area had been uh, empty for about uh, uh, 35 uh, years. Uh, and I'll, I'll show first uh, uh, a very quick uh, history of the site. So this is, uh, if I go back, uh, this uh, cathedral uh, can be uh, recognized in this uh, uh, thing. So uh, in uh, uh, 1600 and something, uh, this was uh, the edge of the uh, med just a small medieval city. This is the city wall. And the area we are talking about is uh, this one. I will not uh, uh, show all the details, but uh, I'll, it's, it's a kind of a film that shows the changes uh, in gray uh, that were made in the course of uh, time. Many links, because we are also uh, talking about an area that uh, uh, makes a link between down uh, uh, lower part of the city with an upper part of the city. So in uh, the course of time, many uh, links to um, deal with this uh, steep uh, topography uh, uh, were uh, made. Um, here what happens is that uh, the whole uh, neighborhood was uh, uh, broken down uh, to make uh, as a kind of um, uh, uh, when this uh, uh, railway tunnel uh, was being made. Uh, so that left uh, uh, in the beginning of this uh, or the first half of this uh, century very big uh, open area and new uh, buildings uh, which I showed on uh, a picture uh, were uh, being uh, installed, uh, not anymore in the form of city blocks but as uh, freestanding uh, buildings. This is in fact the central station that is a rather small building but that has uh, all of its uh, infrastructure uh, underground. So the area was left uh, 35 years uh, like this. Um, and uh, then in the 90s, uh, although the style of the uh, buildings is extremely different, uh, the, the urban uh, typology of it is not uh, that different from what was made in the 50s. So these are these uh, neo-Renaissance uh, uh, something uh, uh, hotels. And in fact, um, uh, when uh, one draws all the changes that have be taken uh, 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 place in the course of time uh, uh, together, uh, this is what you get uh, in the area, uh, um, underground as well as above ground. Another uh, interpretation of the uh, area is uh, this. Uh, the, the, so this is the area again, and uh, this is uh, the city of uh, uh, power and uh, uh, firms. And uh, here is the city, uh, the medieval city, uh, where there's almost uh, no uh, big uh, uh, functions. So transition uh, area, very much. This uh, diagram says something about uh, the importance of the uh, station as a, uh, as a catalyzer of uh, urban life uh, uh, there, input and output of uh, daily uh, passengers. And then they had uh, uh, another circumstance is uh, that uh, they had this uh, crazy uh, uh, circulation, traffic circulation plan in the 50s uh, for the uh, core of uh, uh, Brussels. Uh, they intended to make a highway uh, that would come in the very center of the city and which would have uh, another uh, uh, loop going out uh, with a number of parking garages uh, on it. In fact, uh, the plan was uh, only uh, uh, partly built. The parking garages uh, were, uh, came, uh, were built and uh, this uh, um, uh, road was also built on top of the 
uh, uh, railway tunnel, but the rest was never built. And so, in fact, uh, today it works uh, this way. There is a kind of uh, almost um, uh, autostrada uh, uh, highway uh, that leads to the center of the city, and then all of a sudden uh, everything is being uh, dispersed in the uh, uh, medieval uh, uh, urban uh, fabric. Uh, so, in fact, a, a superfluous uh, uh, thing uh, today. The area uh, is here, and uh, another uh, circumstance is that it uh, fits in a, a series of uh, public, big public uh, uh, spaces uh, that uh, make this transition of the higher and the lower uh, city. So this, is, uh, this area is called uh, Kunstberg, uh, a mountain of uh, arts where all the uh, a big number of uh, musea are uh, collected. Uh, and then uh, a last uh, picture of the analysis of this site uh, is, uh, is a kind of X-ray uh, plan uh, that shows all of the construction uh, above ground and underground uh, at the same time. And so one can see uh, that uh, only the black uh, areas inside here are uh, non-built uh, non uh, uh, spaces. All the rest is uh, completely built. For instance, this uh, highway I was uh, talking about that uh, was intended to be here has a kind of uh, underground uh, structure, a kind of uh, concrete uh, cathedral, uh, simply to uh, uh, position it uh, between this uh, uh, lower and uh, higher uh, city. So, in fact, uh, uh, to uh, refurnish and to make uh, the public uh, uh, space green uh, would have been uh, a very difficult thing. And uh, our conclusion was that uh, this area was really not uh, ready uh, for uh, this kind of uh, finishing. And uh, uh, one of the problems uh, we thought is that uh, uh, around um, there is, in fact, uh, uh, too many uh, public space. And uh, one good thing uh, for the area would be uh, to shrink this uh, uh, public space. On the other hand, uh, there is uh, many, uh, uh, by the existing uh, uh, organisms and functions, uh, programs uh, around, uh, there's kind of a big uh, need uh, for new uh, program. So basically, uh, what we propose is to uh, uh, take into consideration uh, all these uh, existing things, uh, accept uh, uh, the ugly as well as the, as the beautiful, and uh, uh, add uh, program to it in such a way that uh, uh, finally the whole thing is completely uh, changed. Um, this uh, diagram says something about uh, uh, archaic uh, 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 vi vision uh, cones uh, from the cathedral, from a royal palace and so on, that uh, have their uh, archaic uh, urbanistic uh, influence on the site. So, and one, uh, when one uh, applies them uh, literally on the site, uh, this is what is in theory uh, possible as a, a built uh, volume. When one uh, uh, leaves uh, the existing buildings uh, in it, uh, this is uh, what uh, results. In fact, uh, this is uh, in a very rough uh, form what we proposed, that uh, the whole area would be uh, built uh, as much as possible. Uh, taking into consideration all the uh, different uh, existing typologies, uh, taking into uh, consideration also the potential of the, this uh, underground infrastructure as a, a new uh, urban uh, space. Th this underground uh, space is already uh, uh, for a part uh, being used um, in a very interesting way. Uh, some of them are uh, uh, sometimes used, uh, uh, so there is a kind of uh, interesting uh, thing going on uh, about uh, uh, in-between forms uh, uh, between uh, public and private uh, space. This is a kind of general plan of what we uh, proposed. Uh, so uh, in grey, uh, you see what uh, uh, not only, in, no, in fact uh, this plan is a kind of uh, interpretation of a Nolly plan uh, that uh, talks about this uh, in-between zones uh, between uh, private and uh, public. So in, f in fact we b here you recognize the uh, railway station, in fact we uh, fill up uh, uh, for a big part uh, uh, the space that is uh, left in between. And this is a diagram that shows it, that shows existing buildings uh, as well as uh, new uh, programs that we uh, introduced in it. So let's say these forms are uh, existing buildings uh, and we uh, added uh, uh, many new things. This is the same thing for the underground space. 
And then this is what you get uh, in uh, plans. Uh, the lowest plan uh, that is on the level of the uh, old city uh, that has the same uh, uh, height, uh, that's on the same level as the uh, central marketplace. And in gray is uh, indicated all the new uh, programs that we added. Uh, here we cut in the ground and uh, this is uh, the railway tunnel that uh, one sees. Uh, this is a metro, uh, uh, existing metro link, uh, existing parking garages uh, underground and so on. Um, the level uh, above it um, and the level above that which is on the, uh, on the level of the uh, highway, former highway. Uh, in fact, uh, the highway here is transformed into a, a new uh, bus uh, station that uh, uh, as well tourists, uh, tourist buses as uh, line uh, uh, buses that uh, link uh, with the station. So uh, what we add is uh, uh, basically a new housing program, new office program, this kind of uh, infrastructural uh, things and a uh, uh, big uh, 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 big uh, buildings for uh, conference, uh, uh, conference halls because in the uh, immediate neighborhood there is already uh, many, uh, many things uh, uh, built um, but uh, what we uh, make out of it is a kind of uh, network, uh, I'll show it on a diagram later, a kind of network uh, for conferences that can uh, grow and shrink uh, in the course of uh, uh, time. This is the upper level um, so where uh, one can see, but that is more clear in, uh, in other diagrams, uh, that in fact a kind of a chain uh, of uh, public uh, rooms uh, are kept uh, in this uh, conglomerate. Uh, a chain of uh, public rooms that uh, has uh, a lot to do with uh, an existing quality in the neighborhood. Uh, you have this uh, kind of uh, pedestrian uh, areas, covered pedestrian areas, as well from the 50s as from uh, uh, the uh, 19th, late 19th uh, century. Um, we uh, keep a kind of a series of uh, uh, public space that is not, uh, that is not the street. Uh, so here they are all together. This is an existing gallery. Uh, this is an existing gallery. Uh, this one too. Uh, this is an underground uh, metro uh, link. Uh, this is uh, new uh, spaces that we introduce uh, to make this kind of uh, uh, network, uh, let's say, of uh, uh, public rooms. I go back. Uh, this is uh, in diagram uh, what, uh, what we do with uh, infrastructure. This is the existing railway thing. This is a metro uh, underground. And this is the new bus station that we add. This being two uh, parking garages. Uh, this diagram is about uh, the uh, conference uh, program uh, existing uh, here, uh, existing also in the new hotels on small scale. But in fact, what we uh, do is uh, use a kind of uh, former technical uh, platform above the rails uh, and around the station that can uh, link up, uh, that can make a kind of uh, octopus-like uh, public space, partly underground, partly above ground, which makes uh, uh, this uh, huge uh, conference uh, uh, complex. So built up from existing as well as uh, new. This is uh, the build uh, above ground, what, we, uh, what exists and what we add. And also uh, it talks about a few uh, public spaces that uh, are sitting on the edge of the uh, project. Uh, this is about uh, a program uh, dividing. Uh, the, all of these are, have to do our hotels and uh, what we add is kind of a temporary housing. Uh, this tower we transform into housing and uh, the building of the railway station as all the infrastructural program is underground, uh, we uh, also transform into uh, housing. This is a kind of office cluster that is uh, built up from existing and new uh, inside uh, the project. And this diagram shows a kind of a complex three-dimensional uh, um, network uh, of uh, sometimes public, uh, sometimes uh, semi-public uh, space. And this last diagram uh, uh, talks about the, the purely uh, open uh, public spaces that are uh, uh, left. This is an uh, uh, existing building and this is what is uh, being added. 
So in fact, uh, we more than double uh, uh, the, the capacity of the whole uh, area. We um, shrink uh, the public space and we make out of a kind of uh, 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 clumsy uh, 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 urbanistic uh, 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 thing, uh, we make a kind of uh, totally new uh, uh, heart uh, uh, for the city. This model uh, shows uh, all the levels uh, existing and new uh, underground and um, above ground at once. So, uh, for instance, here uh, you can recognize the uh, railway tunnel uh, going under. It's a transparent uh, uh, model and uh, every uh, thing is uh, uh, shown at uh, once. <coughs> And uh, these, these four, uh, four collages uh, showing um, uh, these uh, uh, public spaces. This one sitting uh, inside as a kind of uh, antichambre uh, towards the uh, railway station. So there is a link uh, in here uh, under the bus station. Well, in fact, the bus station, the new bus station is passing by uh, here. This is a kind of uh, uh, open public space that leads towards uh, the station. This is uh, a garden, a new garden that we make in front of the uh, cathedral that is on the outside of the block uh, that uh, also uh, uses in a high, uh, in a, uh, let's say, developed uh, degree the, the capacity and the qualities uh, of the existing. In fact, uh, this garden is on top of uh, the uh, railway uh, tunnel and uh, becomes a kind of a new uh, step stone from the old city towards uh, the cathedral another garden uh, on the other side and uh, final uh, image of this project a kind of a cutout uh, in the street uh, on the north side of the uh, project uh, that uh, a kind of leftover space uh, between uh, uh, roads uh, that uh, becomes a kind of patio uh, towards the underground uh, uh, network so uh, th this uh, project uh, simply to show you uh, the, our intention uh, uh, with this uh, 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 sprawl uh, areas. Um, as you might know, uh, the part of our uh, research uh, is, uh, uh, contains a series of projects, uh, very different projects that try uh, to deal uh, with this uh, uh, reality of uh, uh, non-landscape, uh, non-city, uh, accepting as much as possible, but uh, adding uh, fundamental uh, uh, new elements uh, to it, uh, which makes it finally into uh, something uh, completely different. First, I'll show uh, some uh, comparisons uh, between these uh, European um, uh, areas. Um, so the area that we are, that is our main uh, uh, focus uh, of uh, study is here, uh, Brussels, Antwerp, Ghent. Uh, we uh, considered uh, the Randstad Holland uh, at the same time. We also considered uh, London, uh, while it is uh, clearly uh, still a city, but with such a, a long uh, transition between uh, city heart and uh, uh, nature uh, that it in, in fact uh, also uh, uh, is interesting to uh, uh, compare in this uh, uh, sprawling. Then the Ruhr area uh, we considered. Um, we also considered uh, uh, the triangle uh, between uh, Zurich, uh, Bern and Basel, uh, not on this map. And finally, uh, we looked at uh, the, the Veneto uh, area, let's say the whole area, horizon very horizontal area uh, around the Po uh, River uh, behind, let's say, at the north uh, west of uh, Venice. And of course, I cannot uh, go uh, too much into detail uh, in, this, um, in this lecture, but uh, I, I want to show you uh, some of these uh, uh, mappings. Uh, this is a first a diagrammatic uh, interpretation of the uh, uh, very big uh, differences that are uh, 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 still in these uh, uh, different uh, regions. Uh, with uh, London being, uh, 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 as I said, uh, a very uh, long transition between uh, a real center and uh, its outskirts. Uh, Randstad Holland uh, being a chain of, uh, or uh, it was uh, a chain of uh, cities around uh, uh, more or less uh, empty heart. Uh, today we see that this uh, uh, heart is being uh, filled uh, more and more. In fact, what we see, uh, quite interesting for us, the densities of these two uh, areas are the same. This is uh, Brussels, Antwerp, Ghent. 
what we see is that uh, here uh, it is uh, too late uh, somehow. Uh, there is no more uh, landscape and there is also no real city. Uh, uh, Holland, uh, for a long time, uh, could keep um, very clear, uh, 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 very clear uh, uh, separations between uh, uh, city and uh, nature, mainly uh, because they had to, uh, since the Middle Ages, they started to protect their land uh, from inundation. That is the, the basis for all uh, urbanism in uh, Holland, uh, seen on the long term. Um, but uh, as I said, today uh, 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 this uh, principle, uh, centuries-long uh, principle, is being abandoned. Uh, in fact, uh, this uh, green heart is being more and more filled. Uh, they are developing somehow into uh, a situation that we know here in uh, Belgium. At the same time, uh, uh, for us, uh, the Randstad uh, always has been a kind of uh, example of uh, uh, how this uh, problematic uh, should be treated. Uh, <clears throat> the rural area uh, is uh, uh, more composed around a kind of uh, grid, not, not an orthogonal grid, but a grid of uh, a big infrastructure that does not exactly uh, follow uh, the existing cities, but that also as well uh, follows uh, industries that are uh, installed there. So uh, uh, a uh, circulation network that is not really based on uh, existing uh, before existing uh, things. Then, uh, of course, in uh, Switzerland, uh, uh, many things are um, defined by topography. And in fact, one could say that uh, there, uh, one does not really talk about uh, sprawl, uh, although uh, villages are uh, uh, very equally spread uh, all over. But uh, each uh, uh, village in itself uh, is a kind of uh, uh, self-fulfilling uh, entity, has uh, uh, more or less everything it needs, so it is uh, much less of a, a network. And then in the Veneto area, uh, there is a kind of uh, a system of uh, more or less orthogonal grids that were uh, before uh, agricultural uh, infrastructures uh, that uh, today uh, become uh, more and more uh, built. Um, a few images. This is... Um, all of the built uh, uh, in, uh, in the uh, Flemish uh, diamond, as we call it. Uh, so the space between Brussels, uh, Leuven, small university, city, Antwerp, and Ghent. So uh, you see the size of the uh, open space in white and uh, the impact of uh, the build. Um, this is, so, so this is about the types of uh, maps that we made. Uh, this is one type of map uh, which simply uh, shows uh, the build in a kind of fairly high uh, uh, degree of precision. Uh, of course, you also see the, uh, the cities that uh, are being completely uh, dispersed into this uh, kind of fabric. Uh, roads, uh, all of the roads uh, uh, were um, brought in map. Um, this is uh, the opposite, let's say. This is uh, about uh, what is uh, non-built in black. And uh, this uh, non-built uh, area is uh, uh, further divided into uh, everything that has to do with agriculture in yellow, uh, green as uh, nature. So nature uh, here being uh, just what is uh, uh, left over uh, um, uh, of the non-built uh, area, what is not, uh, uh, not agriculture. Uh, what you see here, uh, for instance, is the, uh, a forest uh, that intrudes uh, the city of Brussels uh, that sits here, that is in fact uh, the biggest uh, uh, natural uh, area uh, left over in uh, the whole, um, in the whole uh, uh, region. Let's say this is more or less uh, 80 by uh, 100 uh, kilometers, and uh, what one sees is that uh, in, uh, on the countryside there is uh, uh, no uh, big uh, natural uh, resources anymore. And uh, uh, finally, uh, water, uh, so for the same uh, area. Um, I added some uh, pictures of uh, London because uh, it, it shows uh, a few interesting uh, things. Um, this is just an, uh, uh, a picture of uh, um, orthogonal uh, picture uh, of uh, London, uh, with this being uh, built. Um, road infrastructure, agriculture, 
And then uh, this is uh, very uh, remarkable, I think. Uh, this is uh, the same area, uh, natural uh, nature, uh, that is left over, uh, in which one cannot at all uh, recognize uh, the city. So the scale and uh, the, 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 the division of uh, natural areas uh, seem to be uh, very similar uh, inside the city uh, and outside. <coughs> I go back to... So these uh, uh, open areas, um, in the city uh, exists as well uh, in the area around, uh, in fact, uh, in here. And uh, so very, uh, very uh, 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 clear thing uh, about uh, London. Um, let me think. Uh, yeah, this is uh, all the maps uh, of the six uh, regions uh, showing the, uh, in black the uh, non-built uh, space. Randstad, so London was this, uh, Randstad Holland, uh, where one sees uh, uh, how the, the green empty heart is uh, uh, slowly uh, being filled up. The same uh, scale and the same uh, uh, precision for uh, Flanders, uh, with this exactly uh, the same uh, density. Uh, so uh, we're talking about, um, about 400 uh, inhabitants uh, per square uh, kilometer. This is exactly the same density. Uh, this is the Ruhr area. Um, this is uh, uh, in Switzerland uh, with Zurich uh, here and Basel uh, there. And this is the Veneto area where uh, one sees these uh, uh, few orthogonal uh, spread out uh, from uh, existing city with uh, Venice uh, being here. <coughs> Um, so this uh, material uh, is also uh, quite relevant, I think, in, in detail. This is, uh, um, again, the London area, uh, Randstad, uh, Holland, uh, Flemish uh, uh, region, uh, Ruhr area, uh, Switzerland with its uh, villages, and uh, Veneto uh, area. Then I'll show the same uh, material uh, per city because it, it allows a, a very uh, quick uh, scan and uh, analysis uh, uh, of, um, of a city, uh, so Brussels. And uh, the, the big uh, uh, forest I was talking about is sitting here, um, built and non-built in white, and uh, where you also see the, the green spaces that in fact uh, very much uh, structure uh, uh, the city that, have, that are linked to a certain time uh, or a, a layer of development of the city. Agriculture uh, intruding quite far into the city. Green, water. Um, so that is uh, uh, about uh, the, the mapping of these uh, areas, where one uh, can at least can see uh, these kind of uh, quite fundamental uh, uh, differences that uh, uh, shape um, uh, these uh, structures. And then what we uh, did is uh, make a series of uh, projects um, to try to uh, deal with this uh, leftover uh, space. Um, in fact, uh, we did a kind of a multitude of uh, projects and a kind of uh, more or less uh, abstract uh, projects uh, also because uh, we simply uh, don't know uh, how uh, this will uh, evolve. Um, uh, one thing, uh, for instance, is that uh, one might think that um, uh, nothing will happen uh, without uh, uh, economic uh, uh, support. Uh, so uh, nothing in, politic in politics uh, happens uh, without uh, being there a kind of economical uh, reason for it. But uh, uh, one, uh, one important thing uh, we see in, uh, in Belgium, but other in, also in other uh, regions, is that uh, today uh, green parties uh, uh, start uh, to uh, buy uh, more and more land in a kind of uh, uh, very unorganized way. They, uh, they buy, uh, they transform it into nature. Uh, it is, uh, th this uh, politics of buying is uh, completely based on, the, uh, on availability and on the uh, structure of the agricultural uh, uh, allotment parcels. And uh, uh, so they, they slowly, uh, without being there any economic uh, background, they slowly uh, um, uh, insert or uh, uh, intrude, uh, intrude into, the, 
into the, this kind of uh, in economic uh, uh, reality. So uh, the projects that we uh, proposed are uh, very different in scale. Uh, they, so, they often have uh, very different uh, starting points. And uh, as uh, uh, it is not so important um, uh, where they are exactly, uh, we just named them uh, after a, a series of uh, verbs. Uh, so uh, these uh, verbs uh, uh, talk about what one uh, can do in uh, uh, certain situations uh, with this uh, leftover uh, uh, space. And I will not be able to uh, explain uh, 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 all of them, uh, so I uh, just uh, pass over and uh, I'll uh, go a little bit in detail uh, for uh, one of them. This is uh, again uh, Brussels um, with the city here, uh, with the uh, forest uh, here, with a kind of uh, other uh, quite big empty area here being the airport and uh, the area in between here is, a, is, a, uh, is a very typical uh, for what uh, for what uh, happens uh, around the cities. Uh, we could see before that uh, agriculture is still uh, quite deep uh, uh, intruding into the city, uh, uh, especially uh, in this uh, area. There's all kinds of uh, uh, new office uh, developments uh, that are being uh, planned without any, any uh, real uh, urban plan. This is also the region of the uh, NATO uh, today. Uh, so this uh, project uh, uh, deals with uh, different uh, scales at the same time. Uh, it, first of all, it, it tries to uh, make a kind of a clear uh, definition between this uh, transition area between uh, center and uh, outskirts. It also makes a, a new uh, a spatial link between uh, two uh, existing uh, voids. It is basically uh, only dealing with uh, un unbuilt space, but it might, uh, on the long term, uh, influence uh, the build also. So basically what we say is that uh, where uh, uh, things are available or uh, uh, can be bought or can be uh, 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 convinced uh, uh, the, there is a kind of a new artificial uh, nature uh, being made, uh, leaving all of the uh, existing infrastructure and um, uh, buildings uh, more or less intact uh, at the moment. So this drawing or this, this montage is in fact uh, showing a kind of uh, uh, in-between uh, stage where uh, this uh, uh, new nature is being, uh, being slowly being built up uh, but uh, where there is no uh, final, uh, uh, final situation. Uh, so it will uh, profoundly uh, influence uh, this whole uh, area. It has a kind of uh, uh, super uh, monumentality. Uh, at the same time, it, uh, uh, it tries to uh, change uh, uh, sometimes uh, the, the status of the uh, non-built space. It, uh, uh, private ground could uh, become uh, partially public uh, and so on. Um, so it would mean, uh, it could mean, for instance, that uh, uh, an allotment, a simple allotment with private gardens uh, becomes a kind of um, uh, slowly uh, a kind of a new park-like uh, area where there is uh, less and less uh, private ground and where only uh, the buildings are uh, still private. That is one, simply one of the possibilities. So it is about a kind of uh, uh, profound uh, uh, transition, uh, redefinition and uh, monumentalization of uh, uh, leftover uh, space. And so it does uh, different things in uh, different uh, uh, angles. Uh, here is the link with the forest. Uh, here uh, one arm uh, goes into a kind of agricultural uh, situation. Here it links to the airport and here it uh, really links to the uh, existing city. This is just uh, one image. There is an uh, existing horse uh, race uh, track that was uh, lying in the uh, fields before and that uh, by uh, doing this uh, becomes uh, all of a sudden a kind of uh, interior uh, space. Half of it is uh, interior space inside uh, this uh, new uh, uh, park and uh, half of it is uh, uh, still uh, laying uh, in the, uh, between the the fields, the uh, wheat fields and so on. Uh, another image uh, that shows the relation to the city center and to these uh, two uh, existing voids. So this is the, the, 
this is the, the spirit of uh, 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 what we try to do with this uh, uh, open space. And for sure, it is not uh, always about uh, monumentalization. It is also not uh, always about uh, bringing in uh, a new order. Uh, so all these uh, categories uh, 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 vary and uh, they are just a suggestion of uh, what could uh, uh, happen to this uh, leftover space. In fact, what we try to do is uh, uh, give a status uh, to this uh, uh, leftover, a status, uh, uh, the same status as uh, open uh, green space has in uh, the traditional city. Uh, it is uh, so sometimes uh, um, it brings it, it brings uh, order uh, uh, sometimes it is a kind of uh, just uh, a vague uh, layer uh, on top of um, of the already existing and this is uh, uh, one image uh, of uh, an area uh, outside brussels uh, that was uh, made by um, organized by uh, leopold ii one of our uh, let's say our second uh, king but uh, who had uh, who was uh, I'm, in fact i'm a fan uh, of him he was a, a very uh, good uh, uh, urban uh, designer he he influenced uh, the development of brussels uh, deeply with uh, all kinds of uh, uh, new um, uh, patterns and um, uh, uh, monuments but uh, he also did this kind of uh, spaces and for me it is a kind of a reference uh, image uh, it is uh, there's no building uh, visible here uh, there's hardly uh, any people uh, uh, visible but it is a profoundly uh, urban space so that is uh, maybe an image uh, to to conclude this um, uh, part and then uh, a concrete uh, uh, a kind of uh, uh, urban study that we did uh, uh, more or less at the same time uh, was uh, about this uh, area in Brussels. Uh, we had to uh, look um, for the railway, National Railway Company uh, uh, towards this area because uh, uh, they are planning a second uh, TGV station uh, inside there. And as you can see, it is one of the voids uh, inside uh, uh, Brussels with uh, mainly um, leftover um, infrastructural railway, infrastructural uh, uh, ground. Um, and the question was uh, to look at uh, uh, the uh, urban, uh, urbanistic uh, possibilities uh, uh, in the, for this area. Uh, uh, considering its uh, uh, context. So the area that they are talking about is this one. Uh, probably there would have to be a, a new TGV station here. Uh, all of this is a, a railway area today. Uh, this uh, image uh, shows uh, the different um, uh, urbanistic uh, qualities uh, around uh, with uh, red uh, being traditional uh, closed city blocks, uh, orange uh, half open uh, city uh, development, uh, industrial uh, areas, uh, big monofunctional entities, this is again uh, NATO, uh, this is the airport, uh, industrial uh, areas, uh, so this area is along a canal, uh, so it, uh, this diagram shows the, uh, uh, the, the fragmented um, uh, city uh, fabric uh, around. And um, very soon it was clear for us that we uh, ha did not have to consider uh, only this area, but that we had to extend it uh, between the canal and a kind of uh, railway infrastructure uh, until uh, the very core of the city, uh, this being uh, one edge of the uh, Pentagon, which is uh, the core of Brussels. In fact, uh, there is a kind of uh, unclear uh, uh, development uh, going on here for some time, and uh, this was uh, the occasion for us to uh, reconsider uh, these uh, 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 things. This diagram uh, brings uh, together uh, what, was, what, what I was talking uh, about before, uh, this uh, leftover space in white outside the city, and uh, uh, inside the city, the uh, green spaces that uh, have been uh, major uh, elements to, uh, to structure uh, the city. So they are here uh, each time uh, linked to a, a certain uh, uh, moment of uh, development of the city, uh, with the, this being the Pentagon, with all its uh, uh, rings uh, around it. 
And uh, so this, uh, this is a crucial uh, image for us. Uh, these uh, spaces being uh, often uh, important, having an important role in structuring the city and these being uh, leftovers. So that uh, we brought uh, together in this uh, uh, study. Um, this is what we proposed basically. Uh, a model showing the city center uh, here, the Pentagon. Uh, all the important uh, uh, particles uh, around it, uh, for instance, this being the uh, Royal Park Private, so uh, with the Royal Palace, uh, this uh, being basically a, a 70s, 60s and 70s uh, office uh, development around uh, the North Station, but uh, that uh, never got uh, a density uh, enough uh, to make it uh, uh, work well, so we, we reconsidered uh, this uh, uh, thing. Basically what we propose is to uh, make a new uh, open space, that's what you see in green here, uh, that is uh, basically a new nature, uh, that uh, saves, that uh, defines a, a number of uh, pockets with a very high density uh, new, um, uh, new um, building uh, development with uh, very uh, sharp uh, edges between uh, the non-built and uh, the built. So uh, these uh, parts are each time also linked to uh, another part of the city. Uh, so this one is linked to the Pentagon, uh, this one is linked to uh, this area and, and so on. Uh, so they're never uh, uh, standing uh, alone. And uh, the new TGV station uh, is uh, situated here. Uh, in fact, in front of a kind of uh, system of uh, axis of this uh, 19th century uh, part of the city. Uh, in plan, seen from above, um, basically the, the idea was that, uh, so this is a green area that uh, has a length of about uh, uh, eight uh, kilometers. And uh, the basic idea was that uh, the uh, nature in it uh, would be uh, as rough or, or uh, the more uh, we are towards the uh, old city center, uh, the more rough uh, the nature is and the more we go to the outside, uh, the more uh, refined uh, and uh, the, the nature becomes. Um, so um, a f the few elements, uh, I already talked about this one. Uh, here we say, it, it, as I said, it is an existing uh, development. We propose to uh, densify it at the maximum, uh, bring other programs in, uh, leave almost no public space inside, have uh, sharp edges towards uh, the uh, new open space here, uh, kind of uh, central park-like uh, 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 confrontation between built and uh, nature, and uh, uh, thus uh, improving uh, the, the life of this uh, uh, neighborhood. Um, seen from another angle, uh, this image uh, showing that uh, uh, close to the city center uh, the nature would have to be rather uh, harsh in uh, quality. Uh, this is uh, a kind of low um, existing um, uh, neighborhood that, um, that is left as an uh, island uh, inside uh, the thing. Uh, then this is uh, the area with the uh, TGV station uh, with uh, where in fact uh, the Royal Park uh, influences uh, uh, the, the development. Uh, there is a perspective uh, that is better uh, visible on this image. The Royal Park is here, there is a kind of perspective in here and this perspective is uh, continued uh, to define uh, the uh, blocks. In this perspective is a, a kind of a sunken, uh, almost underground uh, football station, stadium with uh, its uh, uh, as a patio uh, inside uh, the park. So this would, uh, would mean uh, this kind of uh, uh, park uh, development, a kind of uh, steeply artificial uh, sloping. And then uh, going to the outskirts, um, uh, to the north, uh, where um, different parts of the railway infrastructure will be available uh, gradually, uh, not, so not all at once. There will be uh, islands. So what we uh, propose here is uh, to a new um, um, uh, green, uh, green uh, objects, uh, elements that uh, make a kind of uh, bridges uh, between these elements and that could uh, uh, look uh, this way. So not, of, not all of it uh, has been designed. Uh, uh, we, uh, often we uh, simply take um, 
uh, existing things uh, to uh, illustrate uh, what the potential is. And uh, all of this does not uh, um, mean uh, that there uh, would not be a possibility for a huge uh, new uh, building developments. In fact, uh, uh, everything uh, is possible through this uh, kind of uh, very high uh, density in a sharp uh, confrontation with uh, uh, empty uh, spots around it. So we are talking here about uh, millions of uh, new uh, square meters uh, possible. <coughs> And this might be the last image of this um, uh, thing. So this is uh, a kind of sketch of uh, what we have been uh, doing for uh, something like 10 years uh, to deal uh, with this uh, situation that is not uh, really uh, uh, urban, uh, not uh, countryside, uh, that is uh, something uh, completely different, in fact. And I will uh, maybe very uh, quickly uh, show uh, I don't know if there is uh, time enough and uh, how, if you are uh, able to stand uh, uh, all of this. Uh, I would like to show a few uh, projects that we are working on and that have no direct uh, link with this, with this uh, problematic. This is a, a thing that we um, might build this year in uh, Seoul, uh, South Korea. Uh, a very strange uh, development, an allotment of um, um, editors, uh, book editors, uh, going all together on one spot uh, in the north of uh, uh, Seoul, a kind of allotment uh, with uh, freestanding buildings uh, mainly, but uh, with uh, one uh, nice thing, uh, and that is that uh, each uh, uh, office building should become more like a, a palazzo uh, kind of uh, thing because the urban plan uh, imposes uh, to have uh, other uh, programs and functions uh, than uh, just offices. So in our case, uh, there is also, uh, it's located here, it's, there's also a photo studio, a gallery, uh, an apartment, uh, and so on uh, linked with it. So it really uh, it becomes uh, interesting in the sense that this uh, uh, city uh, part uh, also gets a chance to uh, live uh, after five. Um, this is just a, a kind of uh, uh, image of the, uh, the one of the one of the qualities of the building uh, that we were after. Uh, we wanted to uh, have a kind of uh, cage-like uh, uh, containment uh, for all of these uh, uh, functions that uh, are basically uh, the same for every floor, and that is a kind of uh, structural uh, uh, screen. And behind it, on the different levels, then uh, all these uh, different functions could be uh, housed. Um, in fact, this is a, a mountain that is a Korean mountain uh, immediately uh, behind uh, our site. Uh, and this is what we uh, proposed, um, uh, a building uh, that uh, uh, sits uh, in the ground, that has, there is a pit uh, here, uh, that uh, so raises from a uh, level uh, minus one, uh, that has uh, uh, very clear intentions, uh, three floors, um, with the structure outside, also uh, with all of the infrastructure of the building uh, brought uh, outside, elevators, stairs, uh, toilets, uh, and so on. Uh, the, the structure uh, functions as a screen, is uh, built up from uh, uh, very small uh, steel profiles, uh, uh, L profiles of uh, only 12 centimeters. This uh, supports uh, the whole building. And there is uh, uh, a kind of uh, central core uh, which is a lobby at ground floor, which becomes a, a kind of a void on the first floor, which becomes a patio on the second floor, and a kind of big uh, terrace balcony on the third floor. You also see that uh, this uh, space is completely open. It's a kind of uh, cage uh, standing outside. Uh, here, everything is glass. Uh, there, uh, there is a kind of transition uh, towards a completely uh, closed uh, uh, layer on the top floor, which is organized around uh, this uh, terrace that you see uh, here. So this uh, floor is looking uh, to the inside, uh, while the uh, ground floor is uh, completely open. Ground floor uh, lobby with a void and with uh, uh, all of the uh, things uh, standing uh, outside of the building. Uh, underground uh, floor with uh, this being a kind of a pit uh, in which the building uh, stands, uh, first floor, 
So there's only a column uh, inside around uh, the, at the four corners of the patio. I go quickly over this. Um, so we have been uh, designing this uh, in uh, 91 and in fact uh, the whole thing is uh, waiting uh, for construction because they uh, want to uh, concentrate uh, or they want to do uh, different buildings at, uh, at the same time. So, but uh, this year uh, it uh, will very probably uh, be built. Um, completely different thing, uh, a museum uh, a with a strange uh, uh, contents. Uh, museum uh, uh, for the city of Antwerp on the history of Antwerp, with, which is uh, basically uh, um, um, composed out of uh, three or four uh, existing uh, collections, uh, historical objects uh, with uh, very different um, uh, scale, with uh, very different uh, values. Uh, with, for instance, this uh, existing maritime uh, museum uh, in it, uh, there is a kind of uh, um, uh, folk uh, uh, museum uh, included in it. And uh, there's two issues, two basic issues about this uh, uh, competition project. Uh, one is that uh, um, with this uh, huge multitude of uh, objects, uh, one cannot uh, uh, think of uh, uh, a classical uh, museum, we thought, uh, because in fact in the program it was asked uh, that uh, a normal uh, curator uh, could organize uh, an exhibition by uh, choosing a few objects and uh, giving uh, his uh, vision uh, on the history uh, 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 as a kind of uh, very, very much uh, uh, imposing uh, way. So uh, our answer to that was that uh, there is, first of all, there is a huge number of objects. Uh, there is uh, many different ways of uh, showing them. And uh, this interpretation of a curator would simp simply be too uh, narrow uh, to uh, show the possible uh, richness. And so we uh, said, basically, uh, this museum should be uh, a warehouse. Uh, with a certain order uh, where all the objects uh, are available and in which uh, uh, the museum is uh, hardly a building but more a kind of um, uh, uh, organization uh, diagram and uh, in which uh, a number of uh, different uh, kinds of visitors uh, would uh, find their way. That's one issue. The other issue is um, uh, uh, is about um, uh, the urban uh, uh, situation. It, is, uh, it was uh, supposed to be a new uh, landmark uh, between old uh, city center at the south, at the, at the bottom of this uh, uh, drawing, and uh, new developments uh, in the old uh, harbor. So basically what they asked for uh, was a landmark uh, with a square uh, uh, as a kind of uh, possible uh, catalyzer of uh, a new uh, uh, city development in the Old Harbor. We said uh, it's useless uh, to make a square in this uh, kind of area. You have uh, vast uh, water plains and you have uh, vast uh, public space already existing and uh, the best form of uh, public space in such an area is uh, simply case, uh, uh, so waterfronts. Um, and uh, so for us that meant uh, that we uh, could uh, build all over uh, the site and do uh, this kind of uh, diagram-like uh, uh, building uh, without uh, creating uh, too many new... Um, uh, it was also a kind of a critic uh, towards this general thing that uh, uh, one uh, needs uh, museums uh, as a catalyzer for, for new uh, urban uh, developments. So we made a kind of uh, a low profile uh, thing that uh, concentrates on, uh, on uh, showing uh, uh, objects uh, on the museum, on the, on the definition of a museum itself. And uh, it was more or less uh, inspired on um, uh, this kind of uh, container, uh, um, container uh, constellations that one uh, finds in, uh, in uh, any harbor uh, area. So basically we proposed a, a very low building uh, that uh, spreads out over, all over the site uh, that is uh, basically uh, an alteration of a, a closed um, 
elements uh, and open uh, elements, uh, which, uh, in which basically uh, storage is uh, in these uh, closed, closed elements uh, with uh, very different scales. So here, for instance, uh, in this uh, ideal section, uh, this uh, a space of uh, eight meter high, while on the other end it is uh, divided into three uh, layers. So alterated with uh, open uh, uh, exhibition space, and this is a, a section on the other, uh, in the other direction, uh, show through uh, one of the open spaces, but uh, showing um, openings uh, through, uh, through these uh, uh, closed elements, uh, which uh, make a bigger, which make links and which make a bigger uh, exhibition uh, areas. All these diagrams are about uh, the functioning of this museum. I will not uh, explain them all. This is about uh, program, um, uh, exhibition, uh, temporary exhibition, and uh, auxiliary functions, basic layout, uh, complexification of this uh, layout, uh, making uh, the museum uh, accessible from its uh, edges, so incisions uh, in the basic form. These are bigger uh, exhibition spaces that are carved in uh, then there is a kind of uh, uh, order that is uh, uh, organized in, the, in this uh, big square. Uh, this one talks about uh, sizes of elements, and this uh, talks about uh, chronology of uh, elements. And uh, altogether, uh, this uh, makes a kind of uh, basically simple, but uh, in the end, a very uh, uh, complex uh, uh, matrix uh, uh, of a museum. And this uh, lower uh, uh, series uh, shows uh, possible uh, visits to the museum uh, from a 10-minute uh, uh, visit from a Japanese tourist who has to be uh, in, in the city of Bruges uh, the same afternoon, uh, or a kind of a maniac uh, a researcher uh, who uh, comes every day and uh, remains on the same uh, uh, spot. So there's a kind of uh, um, intense uh, interaction uh, between uh, a depot, uh, uh, for a, which is one of the basic uh, functions of a museum, and uh, uh, visiting uh, uh, spaces. This is how the building looks, uh, with uh, water on three sides. Uh, with a link. Uh, there is, there, there is uh, still a pedestrian uh, link uh, uh, possible between the old city in the back and the new city in the front. In fact, one uh, can uh, go by the waterfronts, but uh, also it is possible to simply walk over the museum uh, through uh, slopes and stairs and uh, with a kind of uh, intermediate uh, square on a half uh, level and with a kind of outside exhibition uh, link to it. There's also water uh, uh, going into uh, this system uh, to, uh, to make uh, uh, boat uh, shows. This is the, the plan of uh, the ground floor, which is about, mainly about exhibition and uh, storage. And there is an underground uh, plan that has nothing to do with that, uh, that is about all the other functions, uh, auditorium, uh, temporary um, uh, exhibition, bookshop, and so on. And there's a kind of uh, spatial uh, relation between this uh, underground uh, uh, level and above ground. Okay, I go fast over it. Um, and uh, what is important is that it is, as I said, a low uh, profile building. Uh, the facades are uh, completely made of glass, uh, partly uh, reflecting, uh, partly transparent. So it is a building that uh, tries to disappear uh, in the existing context, and uh, that is uh, mainly organization and uh, as, le as less as possible uh, real building. <coughs> and this is a final image uh, uh, from uh, the old city uh, showing uh, these uh, different uh, uh, like uh, uh, cupboards uh, um, standing uh, in the public space with a slope uh, going over uh, the museum. This is the last uh, project. Um, this is the one uh, that uh, Motion was uh, uh, talking about. Uh, it has been uh, selected for the uh, Mies van der Rohe Prize. Uh, the final um, answer will be in uh, May. Uh, it is a, a housing project that uh, fits in an urban plan uh, by OMA it, in the city of uh, Breda, a small city uh, on the border of uh, uh, Holland. Um, 
And the urban plan, uh, well, uh, simply our plan uh, is uh, one, just one element uh, within this urban plan. It is about 140 uh, apartments, uh, and it is uh, basically uh, a ring of parking, uh, translucent and uh, transparent, uh, which defines an uh, inside uh, garden, uh, which is also public. Uh, and on this ring is uh, standing uh, five uh, uh, small uh, towers. Uh, view into the parking, uh, entrance uh, situation at night, and uh, first a few images about uh, the urban plan. Uh, this is the old city center. Uh, what is typical for it is that it has uh, three uh, pockets uh, that were uh, before military bases uh, that are today uh, uh, open space, basically open space, green space, park-like space. And uh, so the urban plan was about uh, this uh, area uh, in which uh, a, a density of housing was to be organized uh, uh, with the uh, same uh, density as what, is, uh, what can be found in the uh, historic center of the city. The aim of the plan is to, uh, to have another uh, park, completely public park uh, for the city with uh, inside it uh, different uh, typologies of uh, housing uh, buildings, big, big, big scale, small scale, but also uh, different uh, typology, and at the same time to um, give a kind of new place for uh, developments that already uh, had been uh, built in the 70s, so before this urban plan was made, big elements like a theater, like uh, uh, city offices, that could not find uh, their place in the city fabric before and that were dropped uh, more or less on the edge of the uh, former uh, empty spot. So uh, the plan is a kind of uh, uh, park, uh, mainly green of course, uh, but with uh, one part that is uh, mineral, that is a kind of uh, artificial topography uh, above a public uh, garage uh, with uh, all these uh, different uh, elements. Uh, more or less uh, loose uh, implanted uh, in this park with one uh, simple road uh, that connects uh, all. Uh, this is, for instance, uh, one hectare of patio houses. Uh, this is uh, our project uh, with the towers. Uh, this is a project, a monumental uh, project by uh, Kohlhoff, a kind of bridge uh, uh, building. This is an existing uh, military building transformed into a museum. Uh, this is uh, a building that OMA uh, uh, built. Uh, these are uh, smaller uh, housing elements. This is uh, the theater by Hermann Herzberger, an oil, old uh, cloister that today is being transformed into a casino. Uh, and here, uh, offices uh, uh, for the city. So, of course, this uh, uh, implantation is not uh, totally loose. It is based on a, a number of things, uh, of which one is a, a kind of a system of uh, visual uh, axis uh, between uh, old city and uh, outskirts. Uh, for instance, this uh, uh, tower plays uh, its role in it. Um, circulation. Uh, differentiation of the open spaces, so th the, the park is completely public, uh, but uh, inside it are uh, different areas that have a uh, kind of uh, other status that are more kind of uh, semi-public. Uh, uh, and so, uh, as I said, uh, our project is just one of uh, uh, the projects inside it. Uh, behind here you see the building by uh, OMA, still uh, under construction of which the typology is uh, completely different. This is a kind of uh, very small scale uh, closed uh, city block around uh, an interior court. Um, back to uh, our uh, project, there is uh, one entrance, uh, there is a ring of parking, so cars uh, circulate this way and come out again. Uh, there is the inside garden uh, and the towers are uh, each time on top of the parking garage, partially. Uh, but organized in such a way that uh, uh, one tower uh, forms a kind of a vision uh, frame uh, for the next. And this kind of relation also exists with the future uh, new buildings, uh, so they are uh, directed uh, uh, so that there is uh, for the uh, five towers together a kind of maximum of uh, 
free uh, visibility and also a maximum of uh, uh, sun uh, access. Um, this shows the there's a canal uh, outside of the uh, the area, uh, so the park is uh, mainly on this side. Uh, our parking ring is uh, half sunken. Uh, it is exactly one meter thirty uh, under uh, the main level, uh, which makes that uh, the roof of it is uh, sticking out not more than one and a half meters. So basically, one looks uh, over it uh, uh, be while being in the park. Uh, the inside uh, garden gets a kind of new uh, topography and uh, it is also possible to look uh, through the garage from outside uh, in, into uh, the garden. So on the inside you have uh, one level height, on the outside it is one and a half meter. This is one view uh, inside. Um, the towers are, uh, th there is basically three uh, types of uh, uh, facades, uh, one being white glazed brick uh, for a maximum, uh, basically on the inside of uh, uh, on the inside of the complex to have a kind of maximum uh, light uh, reflection. Uh, other facades are uh, alterations between uh, glass and uh, uh, concrete uh, prefabricated panels with uh, uh, almost anthracite color, but with a, a slate uh, uh, inlay. Uh, and there is a, a third uh, uh, glass facade, which uh, sometimes are uh, structural, um, which I will uh, explain uh, uh, with another diagram, uh, the reason for it. But uh, mainly this uh, garden, inside garden, is continuing uh, under the towers. A night view inside, uh, so heavily uh, lighted uh, from under. Um, very simple plans uh, for uh, the towers. There's one tower that has only one apartment uh, per floor, which is uh, about 250 uh, square meter netto, which is uh, organized around a uh, kind of uh, simple uh, central core. Um, every uh, house also has this kind of uh, uh, room, glass room, that is uh, uh, functioning as a, a balcony or as a separate room or as a part of the living room, which has, uh, in fact, three glass walls, of which uh, two are sliding. Uh, so by uh, moving these, uh, the, the status of it uh, can uh, change. This plan is uh, basically about uh, two apartments per floor in the same uh, area, and there is one uh, tower that is uh, fatter, uh, that has uh, uh, four uh, small apartments, smaller apartments. So, uh, as we uh, were in a, a harsh uh, world of uh, project uh, development, uh, one of the things was uh, that uh, the, the height of the possible height of the buildings was given uh, by the urban uh, rules, and of course the developers wanted uh, a maximum of uh, uh, layers uh, in it. So, the apartments are relatively low inside. And uh, with uh, Dutch uh, construction uh, systems, uh, we wanted to make sure uh, that uh, th this impression of uh, space would not uh, be, uh, would not be uh, made uh, worse by uh, having, uh, 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 in the case of uh, glass facades, by having uh, beams sticking uh, uh, under uh, the ceiling. So that's why we uh, introduced this kind of uh, structural system, with, which is uh, uh, together working as a, a concrete uh, uh, screen uh, that uh, makes the stability of uh, the tower, but uh, which uh, at, uh, within one, uh, on one uh, floor uh, leaves the possibility to have uh, just a continuing uh, floor plate uh, without uh, any beam. So the, the link, uh, of, or let's say the transition uh, ceiling uh, facade is, uh, is uh, uh, direct and also the same goes uh, uh, for the floor. This is uh, an image uh, during construction, so the, in fact uh, the floor uh, here added is uh, uh, links up with this uh, uh, edge. So uh, view from outside on the day of uh, uh, moving uh, uh, into the apartments. Um, and this is a series of uh, last images. In fact, uh, for me, uh, the architecture uh, in this project is, uh, in fact, in between uh, the buildings. It's, it's, it's about uh, the space in between the buildings. So the, it is somehow uh, very dense, 
and uh, there is not uh, paid much uh, attention uh, to privacy. Uh, on the contrary, uh, we think that uh, it is much, uh, much more interesting uh, eventually that uh, there is uh, some kind of uh, uh, intruding, some kind of uh, uh, yeah, intruding into the uh, private uh, uh, life of a, a neighbor is more interesting than uh, having a maximum of uh, uh, privacy, so that's also one reason for this kind of uh, uh, complex uh, constellation of, of the towers. Uh, and so this is uh, an area where part of the park is already uh, being uh, made, but uh, uh, basically the situation today is like this. So there is uh, some parts of the park being there, but uh, many things have to be planted, and uh, this is the uh, mineral area that will uh, go through uh, the park. Uh, and this is uh, an image to conclude with, uh, with the uh, city core uh, uh, here um, visible. And uh, yeah, uh, the last thing to say is that uh, the density of all this, with all of this uh, open space, will be exactly the same as the density uh, in the uh, center. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's quick. Mm -hmm. But maybe, maybe uh, there will be time for a few questions. Maybe those mm -hmm. people who are leaving, they could just leave like kind of quickly. Um, I mean, you've left us with so many uh, questions. There, there are mm -hmm. so many. There are so many things that you've presented. Uh, one, maybe one, just point of information that would be quite useful is that you didn't quite explain at the beginning how the um, after the sprawl research project actually came about. How is the funding of such a thing organized in terms of an office of, of your um, size really the, spending the, so much time on it? The, so it was uh, living in our heads for uh, quite a long time, but right. uh, being a normal office, uh, you don't, one does not have the means uh, right. uh, for it. And uh, the occasion was when uh, um, a local um, architecture uh, institute uh, asked us to do an exhibition. Uh, at that time, we didn't have that much uh, built work, and so they uh, suggested that we do a project and, uh, and uh, exhibit that project. And we accepted, and, but afterwards we found out that they did not have the money for it. So the uh, next uh, uh, thing was to uh, organize uh, to try to find the money. That took us uh, two years, and the study itself uh, took one year. So that's... Uh, that's uh, Three years to illustrate uh, the problematic of this kind of uh, and project. Then, uh, after you did the project, what kind of repercussions have there been in terms of just presenting the study, let's say, to the authorities in Brussels? Or have you approached anybody in London to show them um, what you have come up with or things like that? Where do you take that kind of research? Well, uh, we, we, we got in contact with uh, a number of uh, institutes and also uh, organizations that, um, that have their um, that have their own uh, research uh, going on. So it was a kind of uh, temporary, because uh, in fact one year is very short for uh, such a project. It was kind of uh, temporary uh, finding out what is uh, uh, going on in this matter uh, uh, all over uh, Western Europe. Um, but the, so the, the funds uh, for this project came from uh, different, different institutions, uh, partly uh, the Belgian ministry, uh, partly the Dutch, uh, the Dutch Architecture Institute. Um, but basically, th there has not been uh, yet a kind of fundamental uh, debate. There have been uh, a number of public uh, presentations uh, of it. And um, what is very uh, much uh, striking is that uh, when one comes into the field of uh, urban planners, when there is a presentation in, uh, in the, let's say, the traditional uh, circles of uh, urban planners, there's a lot of uh, resistance uh, to the project, while uh, people in the architectural world, uh, art world, and uh, uh, even uh, political world is uh, much more open to it. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite a striking thing that... Uh, that uh, shocked me somehow. And, and what are some of the specific uh, instrumental elements that you would try to discuss specifically with uh, the authorities or with the planners from the research? After um, one year, what? 
Well, it's, it's quite uh, complex in itself, but uh, in fact, uh, before this study, uh, for the, in 97, uh, for the first time in uh, Belgium, a kind of uh, a national uh, plan was made, uh, the first time in history, uh, in opposition to, for instance, the Dutch uh, tradition, uh, to consolidate uh, this uh, kind of uh, situation. And uh, so our study also fits in a kind of uh, uh, critique uh, that has been uh, developed uh, to this uh, plan, because this plan uh, takes uh, the existing situation for granted, uh, but uh, still thinks too much in terms of uh, the city, the traditional city, and open space, while uh, both are not really there. And uh, so this, uh, this project fits in uh, a trial to uh, convince or to, to show people that uh, traditional categories uh, should not be uh, used anymore. If, if, if one starts from the traditional categories, uh, in fact, you, cannot, you can't do anything in this uh, kind of uh, development. And one, maybe I ask one quick other thing. Do you see a direct correlation between that study and, for example, the, the housing project, the last project, where you started talking about uh, the, 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 the architecture of this project is to do with the in-between space, which suggests mm -hmm. that, for example, mm -hmm. the typology of the apartment uh, mm -hmm. towers is different than mm -hmm. the modernist yeah. point block Absolutely. in terms of the yeah. field. So somehow the idea of the configuring mm -hmm. of the space in-between, is that in any way for you related to this earlier it study? Is, or? It is uh, almost by hazard uh, closely related. Um, well, of course, you know that I've been working uh, 10 years at OMA, mm -hmm. and one uh, key uh, project uh, for me that we uh, did there is uh, Merlin Sonar, mm -hmm. Urban Development, yeah. which is basically uh, in, yeah, at, the, at the base the same as what we try to do uh, here, with the big difference that uh, Merlin Sonar uh, is uh, in a kind of uh, virgin uh, landscape, while we uh, work here with uh, all kinds of uh, existing existing layers, uh, so nothing, nothing virgin anymore. But uh, indeed, uh, the project in Breda has, uh, has a lot, this campus uh, idea for the urban plan, um, and uh, the space in between the buildings uh, is, is exactly about the same thing. Because when, when we talk about this uh, leftover space uh, outside the city, uh, we've seen it in a big scale. But in fact, it is uh, when, uh, when you sharpen the definition, it is uh, also about uh, the non-built space that is left over between two stupid banal houses with their own uh, private gardens. So it is also about the trans possible transformation of the status of that uh, small-scale uh, space. Any, anybody else would like to ask? Yeah, Um, you having mentioned your experience at OAB, I mean, one, one of the things which strikes me very much as a difference say, from uh, OMA's attitude towards planning, or at least the project of those years, and your own work is while well, OMA might be talking about the void or about the tabula rasa and so on, I mean, your work I find is in you know, some ways very sensitive to history. Um, and I'm struck, for instance, by some of the techniques which you use, and perhaps you're not the only one, I don't know, but for instance, the technique of figure grounds, which very intriguingly you apply to landscapes. That's the first time I think I see that. Um, and um, I, okay, maybe not history with a capital H, but the history just as being sensitive to the way things change over time. And I was wondering what, you know, what you thought about this and whether this seemed to be to, to you in any way accurate and whether there are ever some thoughts, for instance, of Collage City in your mind. Yeah, um, about um, this uh, maybe other attitude of uh, OMA, I'm, I'm not really convinced of that. Uh, I think uh, OMA by now has become a kind of multi-faced uh, monster and uh, of which uh, only one part is, uh, let's say, the, the texts uh, that uh, are uh, provo provocative texts. Uh, uh, 
things about uh, tabula rasa that uh, that are clearly uh, uh, visible in a number of projects and uh, uh, that are also being uh, are being written about and uh, this uh, con this whole context thing um, I think uh, there's, there's just not one uh, dimension uh, uh, at, the, at the work of OMA. I know, uh, for instance, uh, a whole list of projects uh, that are uh, very much uh, contextual, uh, uh, even if uh, uh, for some uh, or at some moment or at some specific uh, point uh, 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 the statement is done of a uh, 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 context. Um, for instance, the house in Paris uh, is, uh, is for me uh, very much a, a contextual thing. Um, there's, also, there's also a number of other projects that, are, that, are, that have the same uh, qualities. So I think uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, basic, uh, um, how do you say, a manifesto uh, texts uh, of OMA do uh, not at all uh, cover uh, all of the, uh, the registers uh, uh, within the office that are being used. That is, I think, uh, one very important thing. So, in fact, I do not see uh, uh, my work as a kind of uh, rupture, uh, a radical uh, rupture with the, with the work of OMA. I mentioned this uh, Merlin Senar uh, uh, project, urban development project, uh, which I don't know if you, if you know it, but which is uh, in the, basically about uh, uh, void and mainly green space uh, structuring a city. So, yeah. And, and also in the case of Merlin Senaar, there, uh, there is some uh, clear uh, contextual uh, aspect about it because uh, uh, even uh, very small uh, existing uh, elements in this kind of uh, uh, existing landscape are being uh, re reused and uh, blown up as a kind of uh, a main uh, structuring uh, elements. There's also other examples, but... Uh, How about you? I mean, what, is, what does history um, mean to you? Do you does it matter? Well, it, it's a kind of uh, difficult uh, relation. I mean, uh, you cannot uh, base a project on uh, analysis of uh, history. I mean, for some projects I showed uh, uh, kind of... Uh, uh, historical uh, development uh, of areas and I think that is, uh, this, that is uh, very important to uh, understand a, a number of, uh, number of developments like this, uh, this, this sprawl in Flanders uh, exists uh, since uh, uh, the Middle Ages uh, due to a number of uh, economic uh, uh, things happening at that time and so yeah um, Let's say that I'm not able uh, to answer in one uh, sentence uh, uh, to your question. It's, it's a kind of uh, a complex relation. You, uh, one has to uh, understand, one has to uh, analyze uh, to eventually uh, throw away afterwards uh, uh, if, if it comes to uh, making, uh, ma coming to a project uh, out of it. Planners. The same thing happened to uh, Willem Jan Neutling's uh, concept of the patchwork metropolis, mm. the carpet metropolis. Mm -hmm. uh, could you say something more about it? Why there is so much resistance uh, to this perspective? Um, I'm not absolutely sure, but uh, but I'm sure that it is also a kind of. Uh, the, the answer here can only be uh, a complex one uh, also, but uh, one uh, thing uh, that is uh, quite striking is uh, that uh, um, in how much uh, uh, traditional planners uh, deal with uh, our existing uh, political, uh, uh, political structures and uh, basically uh, our political structures uh, do not allow uh, long-term uh, uh, visions. I mean, at least in Belgium, I'm, I would not say in Holland it might be uh, slightly different, uh, but uh, it, is, uh, it is totally impossible for a politician to uh, uh, base his uh, career on a kind of uh, uh, long-term vision for, uh, for, the, for the Belgian landscape. Uh, I mean, we are... Uh, that's a big uh, disadvantage of uh, democracy, uh, that, uh, that one is not able to plan uh, more than uh, uh, six years uh, in advance. And I think it has, uh, w so one uh, aspect of this uh, resistance has, has to do with this. Um, 
but yeah, uh, this, the, for sure there is much more uh, uh, behind it. The, 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 the urban planners in Belgium also have a very strange uh, status. I mean, no um, urban, real urban plan was ever uh, uh, made in Belgium on a big scale. It was uh, always a kind of uh, natural, uh, automatic uh, uh, happening of things, ad hoc uh, uh, thing. So which makes that uh, urban planners uh, in general are uh, standing on the, on the sideline and are uh, uh, more uh, considering uh, things and, uh, than, uh, than uh, like in Holland where they uh, really can work to, uh, on uh, developments that, uh, that happen after five or ten years. So, so they, yeah, that, that's, that also plays an important role, I think. Yeah. And um, one of the interesting things of schemes like the uh, Lunsenaar or your scheme or, or the Lumian Leuven scheme is that uh, they try to uh, well, reconstruct the fragmented landscape and they use space. Mm -hmm. And also with a uh, sectoral approach, I think then you see the interest in what is different or separate mm -hmm. sectors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all these schemes made by um, your generation or maybe your main generation, they never got to this Yeah, um, well, uh, one aspect of the, the resistance, I think, is that uh, uh, um, I think it is linked to, uh, to a generation also. Um, I mean, the, the more or less official generation of uh, urban planners uh, uh, in Belgium uh, belongs to the, um, to the slightly older uh, generation, so they have... Uh, and in general, they have a kind of a, a fierce uh, a resistance uh, to all the things uh, that uh, spontaneously happened uh, in the 60s. Uh, and I think if there is uh, some uh, uh, urban qualities to be found uh, in Belgium, uh, it is, uh, one of them is for sure this kind of uh, harsh, uh, rather harsh confrontation of a big scale to uh, uh, before existing uh, uh, small scale. So what you see today in, uh, in Belgium is that uh, uh, 60s buildings and 60s developments are simply uh, being uh, broken down. And uh, while we in our uh, study and in many of our projects, we consider this as a kind of uh, uh, basic, uh, basic urban quality. So it's, it's a kind of, uh, maybe it's also a kind of uh, a generation conflict somehow. Uh, <laughs> So, but yeah, that has uh, to do with this. Uh, you, one could say that uh, somehow uh, there was a, a kind of a form of uh, a spontaneous ad hoc uh, collage city in the in the 60s uh, going on. And uh, um, well, yeah, um, <clears throat> as you, as, if you have seen when you have seen these uh, uh, images on the spontaneous uh, developments, um, zoning is a. a it's a completely uh, absurd uh, uh, term to, uh, to, to, for urban planners to use. I mean, uh, that, uh, but it is true that they are uh, uh, often educated in uh, this kind of uh, uh, categories, uh, absolutely. In fact, in, fact uh, in general, they, I think they are not uh, able to assume uh, or to permit uh, the kind of uh, complexity already existing in uh, reality. They are they're simply not, uh, they have no instruments to, uh, to assimilate it. Uh, uh. So maybe I ask just one last question, is that uh, going back to this point about the relationship about, uh, with the uh, 
the investigations with the project, with the last project. Um, Breda. The Breda. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, uh, if we remember the, uh, some of the early studies you showed when you were looking at the site uh, with the city and then the, o the, o the openings and trying to do a kind of maximization of the mm -hmm. development. I can't mm -hmm. remember what that exact. Brussels. Well, was that in Brussels? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in Brussels. Okay. Um, that kind of, uh, of development was based also on the data, on the information that was available in one mm -hmm. sense about the mm -hmm. site, the possibility of maximum mm -hmm. construction. How do you think this type of projection, this type of thinking is similar, different to, for example, some other work that's come out of, of, uh, of Holland with people like MBRDV thinking about data escapes and the information that's available from those sites where the maximization of data becomes the criteria for, uh, for providing, in a sense, the building block of architecture. So how do, how do you think what you're doing or the instrumental dimension of your investigation could be different from this, this type of investigation? Because I think that it I think basically it has different. nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, well, it's a form of research that we do, but uh, it, um, it's not based on it's not based on data. It's uh, well, uh, of course we, we try. Well, it's based on data, but it's based on data, and we we try to find uh, means uh, to uh, map uh, reality uh, or uh, map uh, map uh, other things. But uh, yeah, it, it is uh, is much less a kind of uh, uh, programmatic uh, starting point. I think. Uh, um, well, I simply see no direct relation. Maybe you see. But, uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a question of what I see or what I don't see. I'm, I'm just interested in, in parallel thoughts that are yeah. happening and whether they, for you there are any similarities and, or if not, well, obviously you don't think there are any similarities. I mean, there, there are certain similarities, in fact, with the development of, of, the, of the whole zoning regulations for New York mm -hmm. in the sense of... Uh, of trying to get uh, maximum heights in relation to mm -hmm. to uh, angles of mm -hmm. light and points of that that mm -hmm. kind of thing, where you make a massing, mm -hmm. in a sense, and you go for for that. Uh, but whether in your case you are varying well, in, in the case of Brussels, for instance, uh, we we use this kind of uh, envelope uh, that uh, is derived from archaic uh, urbanistic rules mm -hmm. and. Uh, why do we do that? Uh, not because that would be, uh, we would never get uh, over these, uh, uh, these uh, uh, forms that are given by these uh, 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 vision uh, cones, but simply because we uh, want to um, assimilate a maximum of um, reality, even if it's uh, absurd uh, reality. Uh, I mean, we, we somehow we like to um, to bring together uh, different uh, aspects of uh, reality together in one project. Uh, realities that we do not uh, master, that we, um, that we simply accept as, uh, as, uh, as a given because it is not, uh, because they are not uh, kind of uh, main, main things for the project. So in this case, particular case, why not simply accept uh, this archaic uh, urbanistic rule instead of uh, doing a study of uh, kind of maximum height uh, 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 that might be derived from uh, uh, neighboring uh, construction or I think something like that. So, so I think it's, uh, it's basically quite Very basically different. different yeah. Yeah. I think it's a good moment to, uh, to uh, stop and thank you. I think that it's, it's really interesting that the the, the, the place where this research has got to, and I think it would be really great to also see it articulated in terms that yeah. establishes its mm -hmm. sort of differences mm -hmm. and yeah. similarities with yeah. this past material. Well, I think uh, at the moment one uh, problem of this uh, study so far as it is developed is that it is uh, too, um, the projects are still too, um, um, not, not enough expressed. I mean, we need uh, other means of uh, expression to uh, to really to really show the, the potential of it. So we're working on that at this moment. So it's an ongoing thing. Next year, you show yeah. an exhibition. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We have to raise some money. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.